What it do, my G's? It's Glad Gaming here with another SAO Liquors video. Now, this video is about the future of SAO Liquors, not necessarily about bug fixes and other things of that nature, just more so like added DLC we would want, you know, different raid bosses we would want, different things we would want in the world that'll make the world seem more lively and or make us want to spend more time in the world. So, without further ado, here's 10 things that we slash I want for SAO Liquors. Now these 10 things aren't in any particular order, so don't think I'm going from worse to better or better to worse. I just be saying things in random order, all the things that I want and thought of, and some of the things that I gather from some of the friends in the community. So don't think that I'm, I'm holding one thing higher than the next thing. It's just things we want in general to fix this, not even fix this game, but to make this game more fun. Alright, so to get some suggestions, I went to the Discord server that I'm in. Shout out Asafumis, formerly known as Black Sage, a fellow YouTuber. Good dude. And shout out the Discord game. And I asked for a couple of suggestions. I only got a few. And I was going to put the screenshots of them in this video, but I screenshotted them on the wrong device. So shout out the guys who gave me a couple suggestions. And that's Heartless and Kozaki. Shout out you guys. Thanks for helping me with this video. And so we're going to start with what Heartless asked for, another fellow YouTuber. And what he asked for is more clothing style. Something we've been asking for since this game dropped. I know I have. I know the friends I play with have. They gave us a few new clothes, but it wasn't nothing to write home about. Nothing really too spectacular. It was, you know, it was just clothes you see NPCs wearing around the world. They gave us the Integrity Night Armor, which was cool. And a few more things, which was cool, but nothing really impressive no variety and so if we take a look at fatal bullet fatal bullet it started off just the same really with not as many clothes but as the updates came more clothes was added so i hopefully they they take a look at fatal bullet and do what they did because fatal bullet had drip i'm not gonna lie after a while fatal bullet had drip especially with the ability to customize your uh color scheme really at will as much as you wanted to so you could find you could have as many outfits different types of outfits as you want no character really looked the same unless they were wearing the same exact thing with no change in color scheme on this game is not really many outfits so it's hard to find something that make your character looks unique and then in the clothes i got on this video if you look in the back gameplay it's something that an NPC wears, so my character basically is dressed like an NPC, so you wouldn't tell the difference from me and the NPC if you were to see my character out in the world. Also, to add on to more clothing styles, they should let us dye our clothes more than one color or get more than one dye scheme. So in this game, this game is a grind. So you basically, you could buy a lot of these things, but you could basically grind for color dyes for your clothes in the world grabbing you know red dye flowers things of that nature so after you do that you can only dye it you only could dye the main color of your outfit instead of taking all right say i take some red dye and i want to use a red and black color scheme so i take some red dye and dye one thing red i can't take a black dye and dye another part of my outfit black i really have no control over that it just dives the one main palette color of your outfit so they should definitely give us more dye slots for our clothes that way you know like i said before make it more unique make us our characters feel like our own make our wardrobe feel like something that we made you know it's a cac game so you want to give us the power the freedom to make our characters our own as well as allowing us to dye every outfit or at least more outfits than what we can right now like i said they gave us a few outfits in the most recent update but i don't think you could die any of them i'm sure it's a few you may be able to die i haven't tried but i don't think you can die any of them so they should allow us to die whatever outfit we got they should allow us to die however we want just like fatal bullet i know in fatal bullet i i really mainly rock the death gun outfit and so with the death gun outfit is black but i had it so many different colors i had made it blue one time i made it silver i made it red and black uh blue and black silver and black white all white one time like i had it so many different colors that it felt like 
my outfit it felt like my character i didn't feel like i was just cosplaying this death gun another problem i had with games that don't allow you to change your color scheme how you want is they tend to release the same outfit with different color schemes with reskins like for example if you look in the background this outfit i have on now comes with a khaki shirt a, and a red shirt and this blue shirt that i got on but no other changes but it's three different outfit slots and i think that's pretty dumb just give me the one outfit and let me customize it how i like let me change how the shirt looks let me change how the bag that's on it looks let me change how the boots look but no they just gave us three different color schemes and a game that did that recently from bandai was shinobi striker instead of giving you the ability to change the color scheme you'll have 10 naruto shirts with just one's blue one's dark orange one's light orange like it was the stupidest shit in the world so I, I really hated that so i really hope they don't go down that route with this i see them going that route because they even have two kirito outfits that are the exact same with one minor tweet his childhood outfit and his villager outfit the only difference from his childhood outfit for his villager outfit is there's a little pouch in the front but the whole outfit is basically the same and it's, that's taking up two outfit slats. Like, hopefully they change that. Hopefully they hear this. Maybe the community will start talking about it more. I don't know how serious everybody else take customization. But, you know, I really like customization in games. I hate, unless I got on the outfit that I really, really like and feels my own. I hate wearing the same things. It gets boring, especially if I don't really like the outfit that much. I'm just wearing it because it's, it's, it's the best thing that we got so far or the most... The thing I want to wear the most right now, but out of out of all the clothes we got right now, uh, they definitely is definitely a lack of variety, and they definitely can do more with that. All right, the next thing I want to talk about, which would be number two, is guilds. Now I know people like the ability to make guilds and clans and games. It makes it more immersive. It makes it more fun. It gives you you know more role play opportunities. I know me and the friends I play with make jokes about you know a order of ranking we have a night order we have and it'll be cool to actually make it a real thing you know to have a title in front of your name so people know that you're a part of something in this game you're making your own way in this world you're taking it serious you're enjoying yourself and you having fun with it so i believe if they allow us to make guilds it'll just make the community happy make the community more into it you know get a community something to to, to care about more like oh, i want to have the best guild in the game or i want to have especially when this game moves into a more competitive nature if it moves into a more competitive nature which i'll talk about later but you definitely should like you should give us something else to add you know just a little extra on top it's not necessary for this game but it definitely be a fun fun added addition Moving on to number three, and this from my boy Kozaki I mentioned earlier in the Discord server. And what he asked for is a Gleam Eyes Boss Red. Now, if you don't know who Gleam Eyes is, I'll put him on the screen right now. He was one of the bosses in part one, which may stop him from getting into this game. But he was arguably one of the best fights of part one, as you can see in the background. He hoeing niggas. And it was also where Kirito first showed he could use dual wheel and use Starburst Stream, which is already in game. He also has a really cool design similar to a, a raid boss that's already in game as well. But he uses a sword and that'd be a cool switch up to how you can fight him. A cool new approach to how you can fight a boss because if he's blocking and parrying like we are, you know, that'd be a cool. They can make his boss fight like how the duels were in the story mode or like at least a little bit like that and then you know he also uses a blast from his mouth so he has a lot of a uh, plethora of moves they can add and it shouldn't be really hard if they want to and you may think it doesn't make sense because it's from part one of sao but a lot of these creatures in this game are not a part of the the actual alicization show they just added them as part of the game so they can do it easy for good fun just or even just for a raid of course like it's easily it can easily be done alicization the actual show has plenty of raid bosses they can pick from they can go through but that can be that may be in-game content so until we get towards the end game they can add you know why it wouldn't hurt to add a few characters from a few bosses from season one or two number four will be the ability to customize your tent or buy a house 
So basically on Fatal Bullet, after a while they gave you an add-on where you can make your apartment bigger and customize it how you want it. So in this game, you start off with a tent. So they should give you the ability with all the money you make throughout the game. They should give you the ability to customize your tent, make it unique to you. Or maybe even give you an add-on or allow you to get a different a house or maybe a, a different place to stay other than the tent or allow you to make your tent grander and better and get a bigger bed a, a bigger wardrobe stuff like that instead of having to go into the visualized attire to change your outfit you can just go to the wardrobe and change your outfit just like on fatal bullet like that that would be a cool addition i don't know why they would leave it out if they have the ability to do it it should be done so that's a no-brainer there so number four the ability to customize your tent or buy a new house number five a dub version now this may not be a popular amongst my sub only guys you feel me you're not an elite if you watch anime and dub and blah 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 but i'm i'm mainly a dub only only anime i don't mind in sub really is attack on titan but that's because it's really just that good but I, I i prefer dub i prefer it to be in english so if they give us a dub that'd be really great i believe of the voices the fact that they give you different voices It'll be better that way if they had a dub version. That way the voices, you could tell which character is talking. It wouldn't just blend all in together. Because for the most part, they yelling out the same things. It'd be, I feel like it'd be more epic for me. Me personally, I feel like it'd be more epic if they had a dub version. I would enjoy the game more. So even though it may not never happen and I'm fine with that, I would like to have some dub voiceover added into the game. It'd just be a cool option. Moving on to number six. And this is something that my boy Los talked about briefly. He, he said he wondered why there wasn't a damage counter at the end of each raid fight or each boss fight. And that really makes sense. They should add a damage counter to see who did the most damage, who did the most healing, who did this and who did that. But I feel like they're, they're inching into making it more competitive. I feel like right now they're trying to build the community. But adding that in would be greater to give us something to, to to work on to work for you know you want to beat out your your teammates and whatever whatever you're doing like oh i did the most damage but then you wouldn't have been doing that much damage if i ain't do all these debuffs and so on and so forth you feel me that'd be a good thing to add to the game i don't know why it's not there it's in fatal bullet it's in most games of this genre so maybe they'll add it later on once they get into more a competitive style but right now it's not there and I think it'll be a really good addition, a really easy addition. So that leads me right into number seven, keeping on the making this game more competitive track. And that's PvP, something we've all been asking for and wondering why it's not there and when they're gonna add it. I believe it's gonna be added. I don't believe they're not gonna add PvP, especially because mostly in the story mode you are fighting other characters in the world not really many monsters so there were a lot of dudes so the mechanic is in game and it seems like as you look through the skills there's some moves that really are best for pvp they can work in the pve environment but they seem like they're really geared towards pvp so they definitely should add pvp in this game it'll be really fun i i love to to play up against my friends and see who's better see which weapon does what in pvp which weapon is the meta and so on and so forth so i love to see pvp i love to fight other people in the community and you know just see where people at and have fun you feel me it, it wouldn't really i wouldn't really take the pvp too serious on this game because i really got this game for pve but P PvP will definitely be a good thing to do, a good way to change up your gameplay after you done fought the same tablet bosses trying to get, you know, certain drops. And you need just you just need to switch up and then to keep you on the game, keep us playing along. Like, alright, come on, you wanna jump into PvP? And it'd be that easy. So PvP is definitely a no-brainer and should be added to this game. Moving on to number eight. Now this may be wishful thinking and it may never happen. And I know I keep bringing up Fatal Bullet, but this was a feature in Fatal Bullet that I think should be added in this game. And that's the ability to dual wield every weapon. As of right now, you can only dual wield swords, which is fine. That's what Kirito does. He dual wields his swords. 
So that makes sense to be in the game at launch. But I believe they should give you the ability to dual wheel more than just the swords. I know it's, it may be hard to dual wheel bows. Like, it's, it's impossible <laughs> to dual wheel bows. But I feel like they should allow you to dual wheel. You could dual wheel whips, you know, which I made. So I had to say it first. You could do a wheel daggers. You can even they should even let you mix and match. Maybe you should could run a dagger and a katana, or a dagger and a sword, or a katana and a sword. They should allow you to do a wheel each and every one of your weapons. They have a sub weapon slot, like regardless of what weapon you use. So maybe that will be in the future. Who knows? But I definitely believe they should allow you to do a wheel your weapons because I, I don't know. I feel like it it'll give us a switch up to the gameplay. It'll give us some more reasons to work on our proficiency and things of that nature. It'll, it'll help definitely make proficiency go up faster because after a while, proficiency seems to go up really, really slow. So, yeah, they definitely should allow us to dual wield. I think it'll be really cool and really unique if I'm out here dual wielding whips. Never seen that on a game before. That'll be a first for me. So, I think that'll be really great. Leading right into number nine which i'm sure this will be added is more worlds and more divine beasts i feel like i've been to every world on this game and for every divine beast i could be exaggerating because lately i've been spending a lot of time fighting the same divine beast trying to get materials for a certain weapon i'm trying to make but i definitely feel like there should be more variety in divine beasts because a lot of the divine beasts are the same as field bosses just stronger so we definitely need more unique divine beasts and i'm sure they'll add it in the future i don't think this won't be added but i'm sure it definitely will but i i definitely would like to see it that's one of the things that i'm most excited to see how crazy they go with these monsters and these divine beasts how unique they can get with them last but not least number 10 and this may be a reach of of maximum proportion because i've never seen this in any S sao except for ggo and this game is nothing like GGOs, but a faster way to traverse the world, a mount or a vehicle. Now look, before you be like, come on, that's never gonna happen. Hit me out. It is possible. Like I said, a lot of these monsters in this game were never in Alicization the show in general. So why can't they just give us a mount? They just add a mount, add a, a, a something, a way to get around the world faster. They gave us a lot of fast travel points and I appreciate those. But sometimes just running through this world gets really annoying, especially early on in the game when you're doing story mode. It's a lot of run here, get this, and run back missions, and then run here and get this and run back missions. And that shit got really annoying and really tedious. A lot of the hours in the story mode had to do with that and cutscenes. So if they add a faster way to traverse the world, I'm all for it. That'll be the end of this video and the end of this list. Thank you guys for sticking around. If you have, it's a pretty long video. Comment anything you want added, like if you want to, and I'll see you guys in the next one.